Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and I am very excited to bring you an update on my NA8. I haven't really done an update in a while. I've been kind of doing tutorials on um, various things as I've been doing them to the NA8, but I am proud to show you guys where I'm at, and I am getting very close to being what I would say is complete. So this video, you're just gonna be able to see the different things I've done to it. I'm just gonna talk about my experience. It's not really gonna correlate uh, exactly word for word with what's going on in the video, but this way you can see everything I've done. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below and if there's anything you'd like me to go into detail with in a separate video all of its own feel free to also let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to smack the like button anyways so it has been quite an experience um i've been waiting to update because i've been constantly working on it and i mean basically right now what we've got going on is we've got the new power supply hooked up we've got the uh, mosfet module for the hotbed hooked up i've got the annette e3d hooked up and it's converted to a Bowden setup. I've got the auto bed leveling set up. I've got Skynet firmware flashed over to it. I mean, this thing is really, really tricked out. And the hardest part about this whole experience for me has really been um, the auto bed leveling, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I haven't ever used an auto bed level. It's It's been something I've wanted to do for a very long time. And I purchased two of these little sensors a while back and I just never got around to installing it. One, my machines are all primarily glass. And so when I saw this one, you know, I was like, oh, this is a great opportunity since it's got an aluminum bed. Um, on top of that, since my other printers have been working and I use a lot of them daily, um, I didn't really want to risk having them go down for a while since again i didn't know what i was doing well this was a perfect opportunity so i was able to finally get the auto bed level sensor perfect i think dialed in uh it seems perfect to me um and it wasn't really difficult it was more just finding uh out how to do it uh, a lot of googling a lot of youtube video watching like a lot of you guys do um i do the same thing and so I'm very happy with what we have come to, and basically all I really want now, um, the Bowden setup that I installed for this, the extruder portion, I'm not happy with it, the tension is not right at all, and I've been trying to tweak it, and it's just under extruding like crazy, and instead of actually messing with the micro steps, I'm going to install a different extruder, I'm going to actually use the extruder that it came with, and I found a file that'll basically let me mount it to the top of the NA8 and use it as a Bowden setup, so that's what I've got going on um, on top of that so I've got cable management needs to be done I'm gonna install some LEDs I'm going to install a fan shroud for the extruder and then um, other than the extruder that needs to be replaced oh I'm also going to be soldering directly like the hotbed wires just so that way um, those little cheap Chinese plugs don't have to take the current through them and you know sizzle out or something like that So I will make a video when this thing is completely completely wrapped up That might be the next video on this will be it completely wrapped up But I wanted to give you guys an update again All the links will be in the description or over to my website where you can find all the files that I used on this machine And uh, don't forget to smack the like button again And if you guys like the content and want to support the channel furthermore take a look at my Patreon. I think the minimum is like a dollar a month and it really helps me out and, you know, helps basically contribute towards these awesome projects. On that note, I am out. I hope you guys have been doing fantastic and had a great weekend. This has been Daniel from ModBot. Take care, guys.